This Paint Live TV, I'm Chrissy Idaho Painter. In this video, I'm gonna be using a product called Benjamin Moore Advanced. I've heard a whole lot about it. Painters all over the US use it to spray trim with. And I hear a lot of guys using it to paint cabinets with. And I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. I've never had the opportunity to use it, so I'm going to be spraying it on this vanity and the vanity doors, and I'm also going to be brushing and rolling it. It's a waterborne alkyd paint, and it should level out and look amazing, even if you brush and roll it, but I don't know. we got to put it to the test, so if you want to see how Benjamin Moore Advanced turns out on this cabinet, stay tuned for this video. So we've got... Um, Benjamin Moore Advanced. Once again, I've never used it. It's a waterborne um, interior alkyd paint. So it's like a more oil modified acrylic paint and it has an extended dry time. So it dry, it takes about four to six hours to dry to the touch. So with that long dry time, that's what gives it the ability to, for you to be able to brush and roll it. If you're a do-it-yourselfer or even if you're a professional painter accustomed to brushing and rolling and that long dry time gives the paint the ability and the roping caused by or the stippling caused by a roller or a brush it gives it ability to lay out with today's technology and water-based paints most water-based paints dry so fast they don't really have time to level out and that's why you get stippling and roping from brushes or rollers you can um, add latex additives to the paint like xim latex extender it could extend the dry time and and help you eliminate brush strokes but this paint was um, I believe designed specifically for that to get uh, spray like finishes with a um, product that you brush and roll. But once again, we're gonna be spraying it. I'm gonna be using a Tritech 208 tip because I just got small face frames of spray right here on the large sides. I'll probably switch to a 410 just to give um, Tritech. I'm gonna be testing out the Tritech tips here. They're fine finish tips, the gold tips. So we're gonna put those to the test right along with that Titan Control Max sprayer. All right, we're gonna get ready and start loading up our um, Benjamin Moore Advanced to spray. Now, just the other key elements, it is a low VOC product, even when it's tented. I think it comes out to 50 grams per liter is uh, what the measurements are. If I'm wrong, we'll put it right across the um, board, the screen here. Once again, it has an extended open time. Uh, four to six hours. You cannot sand this for 16 hours. It is a two coat product. So instead of spraying four coats, we'll be spraying two coats of this product and see how it performs with two coats. After 16 hours, you can sand it, wipe it down with a damp cloth and respray it again. We're gonna see how it sands. We're gonna see how it sprays. And once again, we'll see how fast it dries. It's about you know 68 degrees in here, um, not very humid at all. So uh, we're gonna see how it uh, brushes and rolls on a drawer on a horizontal surface. We're gonna spray it on a horizontal surface. So we're gonna um, spray it on a vertical surface also. Um, I think I gave you all the information I know about this product. Now let's um, get some information uh, real world now. This product is also supposed to be low odor. Put that to the test right here. Yep, doesn't have a very strong odor at all. So um, there's some truth to the low odor portion right there. Gonna load up our sprayer now. This is a, a waterborne product and it cleans up with just warm soap and water. Uh, the viscosity, I'll show you what the viscosity of it looks like. It looks really thin so I'm going to want to be really careful and not try to spray anything vertical in one coat or I could get runs and so and that's kind of what I heard about it is um, you want to just spray light coats and not heavy coats or it will run really easy so um, do a little research be on your product if you've never used it before see if you can get any information on how it likes to be sprayed but there it is, it's pretty pretty thin. It's Now it's probably like um, in my past using oil-based paints, that's about how we would spray oil-based trim paint. It'd be about that viscosity right there. I don't need, now if I was going to put it in an HVLP sprayer, I'd wanna know my exact viscosity using a viscosity um, measuring tool like a Zon cup or a Ford 4 cup, but I'm not spraying through an HVLP, I'm spraying through 
this Titan Control Max, and I'm even gonna use the gun that came with it. So I'm gonna get this thing loaded up and ready to go here. All right, we got to our first coat sprayed on there. I got to say, um, one of the things it said, it had excellent coverage. So this was uh, white going over uh, basically a dark brown, kind of um, dark or medium brown. It covered uh, pretty dang good, pretty amazing. All right, here we go. We're going to brush a drawer front now to put the Benjamin Moore Advance to the brush test. Does it um, flow out, level out? where you don't have brush strokes. So, and that's really important for do-it-yourselfers that are painting cabinets and um, trims. So I'm going to get my paint on here and see how this stuff performs brushing it. I'll even take in a roll one too and we'll stipple it really well rolling it. Typically with, you know, if you're painting a um, painting cabinets or trim with a water-based paint, they dry really fast. You don't have a lot of working time, so you're gonna wanna get your paint on, get it on really quick, and then lay it out and don't mess with it. What do-it-yourselfers have a tendency to do is overbrush and overwork it, and it's starting to dry or coagulate, and that's when you'll start to get brush strokes. This having a four hour, four to six hour open time, you're gonna have a lot more working time to be able to mess around if you're not, if you don't have a lot of experience with a brush, just to take more time getting your product on. I can get it on, mess around with it. I can see it leveling out like really fast already just in that short period of time, just getting it on there. I'll just get some on here. Typically I would paint the back first and then do our fronts, but you know, we're just doing a test here with this product. And so I'm painting the front first cause I've got some curved edges. I wanna see how it performs on these curved edges. It, I can already see it's like leveling out. I got really nice ideal conditions in here right now because you know the it's you know in like high 60s uh low 70s it's about 70 degrees in here to be exact i'm gonna get this paint on then we'll just hit it with our morton and level it out Make sure all the sides are completed. Once again, you can't, just because of the dry time, you're not gonna be able to do this in one day. You're gonna have to paint one coat one day, paint another coat another day. So now I'm gonna take you know, a dry Morton, I'm gonna rope it with a dry Morton, get some good brush strokes in there. We're gonna see how it levels out. I'm just continuing to work with it because, you know, I wanna see when I'm messing around with it too long, like um, somebody inexperienced with the brush would be doing, you know, just to give it a fair shake and kind of more like a do-it-yourself or would paint some level out again. I can see it filling in the brush strokes extremely fast. This stuff brushes very, very, it actually brushes very similar to an oil. If you've ever used oil, oil-based paints aren't found around 
very many places anymore. A lot of EPA regulations are causing them to go away. That's why you're seeing these oil modified um, alkids now, waterborne alkids showing up. All right, now that I've overworked it, put it really to the test, we'll see how well it levels out. Now I'm gonna take in brush and, or I'm gonna actually roll one and we'll see how, what the comparison is. And I can, I mean, I definitely can see brush strokes in it still, but um, you know, I just got it done. So we'll see how this thing's gonna dry out. My rack is a little bit too small. All right, so the better way to actually, you know, do this, I brushed the last one. You wanna take like a microfiber roller and you wanna roll the large fields and then you'd go back and back brush it. So I can just take, show you what it would look like. I'm gonna paint this a microfiber roller and then I'll lay it out with my brush. So now I can do the full field. You know, actually I'll think, I'll just leave this one. Um, I won't lay it out, I'll actually just leave it rolled to see how the stippling levels out compared to the brush strokes. And you can see um, a little microfiber on there. Try to get a close up of how well this thing is stippled so you can see the end result. You definitely, if you're working on a horizontal surface like this, you can get more product on, on both coats. So there it is. I mean, the coverage is absolutely amazing. So that's, I mean, that's not covered 100%. I can see some speckles in there, you know, but um, it's definitely gonna cover in two coats. Definitely wanna, I mean, I see a little debris in there. My bucket wasn't 100% clean, but um, see some, you definitely wanna delint your rollers. This roller left some microfibers on there, but you definitely wanna sand in between coats and, and make sure that your second coat doesn't have any microfibers or debris in it. So there you have it. So we're gonna let that thing set, level out and we'll sand it and coat it again tomorrow. I, th I think as well as this covered on the first coat, spraying it uh, vertically, I think I can spray it one coat horizontally and we're gonna see what that looks like. We're gonna put it to the test. All right, now I've got my vanity all sprayed right here, the face frames and the sides. I've got some doors and drawers. They're all finished being sprayed, brushed, or rolled. I'm gonna give you some of my thoughts about Benjamin Moore Advance now. Now that I've had a chance to actually use it in different scenarios, I did do some tests, multiple tests with it. I did a test right here. This is brushing it, this whole section right here, brushing it. Hopefully we can give you a close-up look of that and then a section of it rolling it. I have other um, tests I did with it, but this, hopefully we can get some good shots with the video. Now I do gotta say, um, 
for professionals and do-it-yourself painters. This stuff, if you're brushing and rolling, it lays out absolutely amazing. I wouldn't say 100% of the brush strokes are gone. I can still tell that this was brushed. I can still tell this was napped. Um, when you compare that to being uh, sprayed, there is kind of a pattern left to it here, a stipple pattern and a brush pattern that goes on um, whatever way you're brushing it. When it's sprayed, it just laid out like absolute glass. But if you're brushing and rolling, this stuff actually brushed and rolled really, really nice. So I know a lot of do-it-yourselfers um, are intimidated or don't know how to use airless sprayers. This would be a great product to use if you're brushing and rolling. And I know there's still quite a few painters out there that brush and roll cabinets and doors and stuff like that. So it's a great product if you do it. We're very accustomed to spraying. I sprayed it different um, it, with different methods. I used my PSDR in here, hanging spraying. I sprayed it down laying. It definitely sprays out better laying down because you can get a really nice thick coat on it. But hanging, I sprayed all four sides and front and backs of the doors and it hung very, very well. I even did tests where I sprayed three coats all, all at once to see what it would take to get it to run. If I didn't have a lot of experience spraying, it's if I got two coats on there, it still hung. If I got three coats, it started to run. So it is very forgiving. But the spraying, here's a couple doors or drawers. This one right here, I don't know if you can, when you look at that right there, that is a mere glass-like finish on that. So I do gotta say it sprays out extremely well. This whole um, cabinet, we're dealing with aqua coat and an oak cabinet, and you can't even see the grain. So it sprayed out well, leveled out well. It does dry pretty slow, so, um, or cure pretty slow to where the point where you can sand it. It dried to the touch a lot faster than it said on the can. In our situation scenario here, it was drying to the touch in about an hour, which is pretty fast, but it does say 16 hours to recoat, which is quite a while to recoat. What I noticed that six, we were waiting about 16, 18 hours and then sanding. Um, it's still a soft when you sand, so you gotta be careful not to over sand and load up your sandpaper. But if there's anything, you know, that um, you know about the product that you, you know could be considered you know a negative it would be dry time so it's about 16 hours to you can sand and recode but a lot of cabinet painters a lot of guys are accustomed to painting like that you can't uh, you can't take and spray one coat on the doors hanging allow it to dry and sand and recode you know in a less than 16 hours highly highly recommended to spray and recoat after uh, 16 hours. And we always sand in between coats, so you definitely wanna sand in between coats. Now when it comes to a trim paint, this would be a really good trim paint if you're painting interior trim, door jams, window trim, baseboards, especially if you're custom to brushing and rolling or if you're doing it yourself for brushing and rolling trim. The slow dry time, the, the ability for it to just level out and gel out is absolutely amazing. On trim, we typically don't sand in between coats when it comes to trim paint. So, you know, you can spray a second coat on a little bit quicker. So, uh, dry to the touch, several hours. You know, for us in the conditions we were dealing with, I would still probably um, adhere to manufacturer's recommendations of recoating at 16 hours. So you can spray one coat of trim. If you're gonna spray your trim inside the house, spray it. One day, come back the next day. We typically don't sand trim when we go when we're spraying before we spray our second coat we come right back and um, spray our second coat right on top and I haven't sprayed a trim package with it yet but the way it worked on and um, sprayed out on the cabinets it was just absolutely amazing all right, there you have it. We've got our cabinet makeover all done. Gotta say this thing looks absolutely amazing. Now this was a $25 oak cabinet from a um, rehab store and now it looks brand spanking new. It's gonna fit in this bathroom and look fabulous. The Benjamin Moore Advance, I sprayed it, I brushed it, I rolled it. I gotta say it sprays out amazing, dries like glass. 
brushing and rolling for do-it-yourselfers. If you're the type or professional painters that brush and roll it, it does level out and um, from a roller and brush um, or roller and brush is just amazing. So it levels out. You still, the finish quality is much better when you do spray it. There is one thing you got to keep in consideration, the dry time, 16 hours. Uh, you really need to adhere to that. Let that 16 hours go by, sand, recoat, because it doesn't sand very well if you um, try to cut into that 16 hour time. Also, um, because of the slow dry time, putting things back together, you want to be very careful putting it together. I would probably let it dry several days before you start to put it back together. The longer you uh, wait to put it back together, your cabinets and stuff, and tell the client they can start using their cabinets, the better. The product does seem to dry really, really hard. It has a buttery, smooth feel to it. I really like the feel. Um, so it's a, so far to me, it's a great product, you know, for do-it-yourselfers and professional painters out there. I know I see a lot of comments from professional painters that use advanced that absolutely love the product. If you use it, leave it down in the comment section below your experience, good or bad with the product. We would like to hear what you have to say. There you have it. If you got any tips, tricks, leave them in below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe to our channel. It's free, simple, easy to do. Subscribe and you got to hit the notification bell. For some reason, that doesn't do anything. If you don't click both, it just takes two clicks, free for 12 years, free for another 12 years. That way you get an email every time I come out with a new video. We'll see you next time right here on Paint Life TV. Out.